Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to be going over how to make a portal. A very simple setup, we're going to go to Assets, Functions, going to scroll down to Portal, and we're going to drop one right here in the middle. This is an 8x8, and you want to put it uh, above the ground so that it doesn't clip with anything, because if you come through this portal uh, and it's at the bottom, you might fall through the world. So we're going to put it above the ground here so that nothing's touching into the geometry. Um, and uh, we're also going to duplicate this and put one in our ending location. So when you teleport through the portal, we want you to travel to another uh, place. So we're going to go ahead and have two portals. The next thing you're going to want to do is take the target node from one um, portal and target the other node. And vice versa, you want to grab the node from the other portal and target the one that you'll be returning to. Now, this won't work out of the gate. You're going to need to add some settings. So let's open up our properties on uh, with both of our portals selected. Portal size, we can change the portal size here. We can decide if it, we want it to open faster or close faster. What we're going to do is have them both start on, and we're also going to set them to automatically teleport and update cube map. Uh, so what this is going to do is the portals will now start open, and when I touch them, it will automatically teleport me between the two. And if something changes in the environment or when this portal opens up, I guess we don't need this right now, but later on, if you have something change and then the portal opens up again, having this checked will allow the portal to take another picture of what's on the other side. We're not going to worry about this bottom half here for now. This is a different tutorial. It's a bit more advanced. So now with all these things checked here, we can hit play. And now you can see my blue room on the other end. And I can jump through. And now you can see my red room. And in the auto map, you can see our portals. And there's me. If I jump through again, you can see I'm on the other end. So that's the basic setup. Some common issues or problems that people will encounter with portals is having geometry too close that the player can clip through. So for example, this portal clips through this wall. When I play the map and I walk through that left side, I am now inside this cube. Uh, sometimes that will be, you'll fall out of the level. So you want to make sure that you're very careful with the geometry that you put around. Especially if your portal size, if this portal size is eight, and I can enter it here, that means that I'll also be able to exit from this portal here as well, even if it's set to uh, a smaller size. So what that looks like, I'll show you real quick. So I can only enter this portal because it's so small, I can only enter it right here. Now, if I enter this big portal, you see how it's based on the center of the portal. So you always want to make sure that your portals are equal size and you're paying attention to where they're positioned. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hi, everybody.